Uh, so what I want to do now, on your table there are some sheets. I want you to look at those because I'm going to talk us real quickly through this. Now we're segueing into what this life calling thing is about. We understand that God has called us on two levels. He calls us, well, what I call a primary calling to Jesus, to be a disciple of Jesus. But then he has another calling on our lives that has to do with our vocation, with what we do with our lives. And I want us to uh, dwell on that as we start thinking about, and here's what, I'm, here's what I'm really asking, and I'm hoping that when we get through what we're going to share tonight, that you're going to feel God tugging on your heart to maybe be someone that can kind of take this message out to the spheres of influence that you have. So let's go pretty quickly. Um, so we're starting out with talking about life calling. The life calling mission, oh well before I start that, let me just give you some sobering information. I was sharing this with some. Amy's already said it, over half of our waking hours, think about it, you wake up in the morning, well over half of the time you're awake is spent where? Dorothy Sayer, who was a pioneer of the faith and work movement back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, in her writings, and it, the, one of her quotes is on the table, she said, what, what sense or what value is a religion or a faith that doesn't address eight-tenths of our life? And that's what we've been talking about. We understand that uh, Christ has called us into these places to be his hands and feet. But the fact of the matter is, 70% of believers are not sure how their work serves God. Can you imagine? Are you sure how your work serves God? I didn't always understand that. 78% think that their work is not as important as their pastor's. I was part of that problem for a long time. If you want to hear my story, I'll be glad to share it. But that's very convicting to me. 60% have no clarity regarding what their calling is like, their, call, their life calling is. So that's what we want to address with life calling. And then is it possible to find real meaning to our lives in the workplace? And as Amy has said, how do we love God and how do we love our neighbor through our work? Now listen, I know a lot of you folks, you're already doing this. So I'm kind of preaching to the choir, but the fact is you represent groups of folks in your churches and out there that are yet to really plug in and, and, and fully grasp this. So we're kind of giving you some stuff that you already know about, but I want to give you some tools uh, through Life Calling, hopefully as we get started on this, to encourage you. So Life Calling is about... Um, Helping South Floridians integrate work, faith, and all of life. That's the first one. Help South Floridians successfully integrate just what we've heard. And we want to help you and help others <coughs> connect Sunday, as Amy said, to the rest of the week. What are these clusters going to look like? Well, how many of you all are part of a small group? A church or Bible study or something like that, small group. But you know the way it works. You get together around a passage or a topic or something, you study it, you pray it through, maybe in the, during the week, and you get together, you talk about it, you share, and then you say, now how are we going to apply this? How are we going to take this out to the places where God has sent us? That's kind of what clusters are going to be about. There'll be small groups that are going to meet together throughout the city for equipping and encouraging just what Amy shared a few minutes ago. Who can, listen, this is for anybody, anyone you know. And I would say this, I'm looking forward to seeing God use this as an evangelistic means. Don't just think of the people that you know that love the Lord. You have a lot of people in your workplace that are struggling. Work horrible, work this, work that. But they look at your life and they say, how come you're not beat down? Well, I get beat down, but you know what? Let me tell you. I think it's an opportunity in these small clusters to bring alongside us folks that maybe haven't named the name of Christ yet to come along and taste and see that the Lord is good. It's 
prove what we're about to study. You mean the Bible talks about work? Work's a curse, isn't it? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Anyone ready to join? And we're going to be in churches, ministries. How many go to a gym? Anybody work out in the gym? This is a great place to do so. On the golf course. Tennis court. Tennis court. Come on now. Restaurants, home, anywhere to help people find deeper purpose and meaning in their work. Now, the big picture, the end game, is city transformation. Amy has cast a big, big picture. God's big vision is to restore our community. But you've got to get people thinking, well, now, how does my work contribute to that? And then reach the person that doesn't know the Lord and say, you mean I can be a part of the cosmic plan of the creator and sustainer of the universe? That's a pretty good vision. So, what is it going to look like? And I'm using the words link, learn, and live very quickly. In our groups... I'm going to ask some of you to pray about being a facilitator of one of these groups. We're going to give you everything you need. We're going to have more dinners like this and fun stuff. And before we get out of here, we've got three door prizes we've got to get rid of, so don't go away. We're going to have fun. We're going to gather. We're going to share what the Lord is doing when we get together as groups. But in order to get the, the, the uh, uh, cluster started, some of you folks are going to have to pray about it and say, you know, I'd like to lead one of these groups. We're going to resource you. We're going to come alongside you. And you're going to connect your, the people in your group to information, resources, and others together on the path to vocational stewardship. That's that point there. You see where it says link? Mm -hmm. Using the latest technology, we will connect one another to information, resources, and enjoying time together along the path to vocational stewardship. Then we're going to learn. We're going to study and reflect on what the Bible teaches about work and vocation. We're going to go into those passages and we're going to look at other related topics. And then we want to listen to one another. You know, I didn't understand that. What did you get out of that? We're going to share. And you say, well, God gave me an opportunity just this week to put that into practice. So we're going to share. <coughs> so we're talking about community. We're linking to one another, to resources, to new information. We're learning. We're going to explore the topics. We're going to learn, and then the goal is to live, to encourage one another to go, as Amy was saying, out into the places where we find ourselves. We want to apply daily what we learn as God gives us opportunity. And then, discipleship is about what? Reproducing, bringing along others, and pointing them to Jesus. And the best, one of the best place to do this is in the workplace as we all follow Jesus. And it will be on the workplace to wherever He calls us. So it's live, learn, a link, learn, and live. When do you want to meet? It's when you guys are going to decide when you're going to meet. We're putting together a curriculum where you'll take it month by month. I'm not giving you a lot of details because I'm going to, don't want to overwhelm you. We've got to look at our time. But we're going to so structure things that you all will look at the topics you will say, we'd like to study this. We're going to get together. We're going to make it easier for you to access stuff. So that's not going to be a problem. And then whenever you choose, suppose you decide you want to meet uh, every other week or whenever you want to meet, or maybe you meet on the phone or whatever you want to do, you will gather whenever you choose. And then periodically, like I said, every three or four months, we want to get together as all the clusters again like this. And we want to share. Going to have another great meal. Q's going to cook us up another good meal. We'll have fellowship. We will uh, share and give testimony to what God has done as clusters. And then, so what are they going to do? Food, fellowship, networking, prizes, and a special presentation. I believe we're going to try to get Amy back with us uh, here in January. And the Lord willing, that will work out. And uh, so that's when the official, official, official launch will be in, in, in January. We're going to be giving you more information about that. So uh, what we'd like to do is encourage you to pray about, that's what it says, join us, as we journey towards discovering our life calling. And that's primarily what I wanted to share. Now just some people get confused about it. What are all the, okay, so Hope for Miami's up here. That's, the order, that's our organization. Life calling is what we launched here to help anyone find purpose and meaning to their lives. Some of you were here in July when we talked about this initiative, Made to Flourish. Now, I haven't said a whole lot about it, but you're going to be hearing more about it 
Pastor Dave, who you're going to hear from in a second, he is and I are going to be the city directors for this uh, Made to Flourish network. And we talked to some of the pastors. Some of you over there. This is for pastors and church leaders to assist their congregation to better connect Sunday to Monday. So pastors and leaders, we got something for them. And then members and everyone else who wants to try in that same direction. So that's kind of what we're talking about. You'll have information, resources, videos, articles, summaries. You group decide what to study, then you will review. You'll gather to process, reply. It depends upon you when you want to meet. The facilitator will meet wherever they choose. Activities, you'll share what they learn, just what I've shared. My card is on the table. I would love, I'm going to be following up with some of you folks, but I would love to hear from you. And what I'd like to ask you to do is to consider being a facilitator. We're talking about maybe three, four hours a month of work. We're going to do most of the heavy lifting for you. But the idea is to draw together a group, two, three, five, whatever, of folks that would love to begin, like I said, like a small study, small group study, to begin to go deep in terms of the theology of work, what the Bible teaches. We're going to give you resources. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. You'll be amazed at the stuff we're going to share. There'll be videos. There'll be things you can download. There'll be websites you can look at. There'll be PDF. There'll be all that kind of stuff, more resources than you'll know what to do with. 